Yes. Shalini, tell me about yourself. Good morning, sir. My name is Shalini. Uh, I have completed my PG, MSc Computer Science in Ismania University. I also completed my degree in Digital Flower uh, Degree College. So, when it comes to my personal details, uh, my father, uh, K. Venkatramna, my mother is a homemaker. I have a brother. Uh, okay. Yes. So, how much you rate yourself in uh, Core Java out of 10? Core Java, I would say 7.5 to 8. Okay, Chalo. tell me what is the difference between final and finally? Final, uh, final keyword, uh, we cannot extend final keywords, sir, or we cannot access final keywords. Uh, finally, is we write in a. So, we cannot access it. Uh, final, we cannot extend or we cannot use those. So, if you cannot, we cannot use modify. What? Cannot modify also. Okay. Uh, finally, is uh, we in uh, exceptional handling. Whenever we use finally keyword, uh, whether the even if the exception has occurred or if the exception has not occurred, it will be uh, it is not uh, uh, it is not terminated, sir. Uh, finally, uh, whatever we write in finally block will be exceptional. Okay. So whether the exception is occurred or not, not occurred, this will be exceptional. So what is the code you are supposed to write? We use finally. Okay, what is this uh, code? What kind of code? Which kind of logic you are supposed to put it in finally? But whatever, like whatever we are expecting, definitely we will write in it. So okay, but uh, if there is any, if there is any possibility, exception occurred in finally block. What do you do? In finally block. Because whatever is the code you want to write it, you are saying that you are supposed to write it in finally. For example, I am writing my logic in finally block. Exception occurred. What do you do? We will write try and catch. In finally. Ah. In finally. So in final block you are writing try catch. Mm. Again after the try catch, uh, again you will write finally in final. Okay. <coughs> Tell me what is upcasting and downcasting. Upcasting. Uh, in upcasting, uh, if you want, uh, generally uh, we use parent uh, object to access the methods in the parent and child object to access the method in child. But whenever we want to access child's overridden method from parent object. We create parent object with reference to child. Mm. And then we access child's uh, overridden methods, uh, which are like overridden by child. We create a method in parent class. We override that in child class. Mm. So with using parent class object, we can uh, call that method also. Okay. And uh, downcasting generally, uh, uh, for downcasting, we use the upcasted uh, parent class uh, object and then we create that as a, a new child hmm. we create the parent class object as a new child and then we access it so instead of using downcasting we can generally write our child uh, child object and then we can access it okay <coughs> tell me what is the difference between abstraction and the data hiding hmm. abstraction uh, in abstraction we like uh, we hide the data sir uh, we we only give necessary like only uh, we write abstract classes, abstract methods. In abstract methods, we don't write body of the method. We only declare the method, and then we'll extend that in a child class, and then we uh, write the body of the definition for that method, and then we access only the child class because abstract methods cannot be like, abstract classes and methods cannot be accessed uh, through objects. So we create for the child class, and then we'll access through that. Uh, in data hiding, we hide the data. Uh, uh, for example, uh, in encapsulation, uh, we write public methods and we use private. Uh, in methods, we declare everything as private. So, if you want anyone to access our members, data members, then they have to call the method. Okay. Can you write a class here which should satisfy the blueprint? You write a class here. Now, for representing that, your class is a blueprint. Is it a blueprint? Like, I am using all the in what In what way you are saying that it is a blueprint? Uh, I am using so all the You have written inheritance program. Inheritance you have written, I asked you only one system. class. I asked you only one class which should represent a blueprint. Like only but you have written, methods and fields. I just want only one class. By looking at that class, now... I should understand that this is a blueprint. We will have fields and methods sir, in class. Okay. So how you are saying that this is a blueprint? Blueprint is will give model for our to create an object and to access. Okay. <coughs> Let's get into SQL. 
So tell me what is the difference between inner and uh, what do you call uh, natural joint? Inner joint, uh, whenever we use inner joint, we get, uh, if a condition is true, we get all the all the contents from both the tables. Mm. The condition is true, uh, whatever condition we give, we get all the details from both the tables. Okay. Union, it works as well. <coughs> okay. Uh, natural joint. Uh, okay. Okay, Shravan. Done with the 